So welcome back to Poor Boy Disc Golf, and today I'm going to take y'all on adventure in my uh, local thrift store. Now, I was up here a couple days ago, and I noticed they had a disc golf, uh, well, it's going to be a disc golf cart by the time I'm done, but it's a, uh, a ball golf bag holder, and uh, I've been thinking, well, I want to try my hand at making version 3 of my uh, cheap DIY disc golf cart. So we're here at local thrift store, as you can see. And we're going to go in here and we're going to see what we can find to make a bigger and better disc golf cart. But we're going to do it the poor boy way. So let's get to it. Okay, just got out of uh, Father's House uh, thrift store. Uh, got three things. I got the uh, the wire backing. I found a pack, I think, of four or five in there. Uh, it had five dollars and four cents on it, but it was half off today, so I got it for two fifty two. I got a uh, a little basket for let's see. For a dollar four, or no wait, that's the wrong one. Now I got it for uh, two dollars and four cents, but it was twenty five percent off, so I got it for a uh, uh, little less. Got fifty one cents off of it, uh, and then the cart was five dollars and four cents, and I had to pay full price for it because it was one of the new arrivals but uh cart does have a little thing so uh i'm going to uh, basically use all the brackets i have at my house see what i can find to do it and uh i'll uh, do a quick i'll do a little montage of me uh, building it so uh stay tuned disc golf cart version two was okay but i think i could build a new one even bigger, faster, and stronger than the first okay, one. Okay, so uh, looking back at version two, you know, uh, I added this uh, kind of mesh backing for bag support so it would sit on this, but I also had this for like my camera bag or a nice chest, or if I had like some practice disc, I could put it there. But you know, I got to thinking, well, since I got this one and I only paid five bucks for it, I might as well do another one. Now we picked up the uh, the uh, wire for the back, and I picked up this for something. I don't know what we'll throw it in. Then I went to Walmart and I picked up these uh, T brackets. I uh, won't need the screws; just need these. We'll bend them so they look like that, and that one. That way, it'll hold the wiring on. Now the difference between the new one and version two is this is a lot wider. And narrower while this one is a perfect square so we're out here in my old workshop and we're gonna see what we can do so uh, let's get to it we're gonna take this off and we're gonna to try to move it all the way down here if we can that way uh, we might even move it to right here the way the bag does sit lower and we might do some other things up in this area for like a uh, like a tripod or a stool and my disc grabber on the other side, or an umbrella. So, uh, let's get to it. So, I, uh, I just hit my first snag. Uh, just realized that this has a backing. So, it's going to either have to be at the very bottom, or we're going to have to cut the backing off. So, we're going to take the uh, bottom off of it and uh see what happens so, uh, got the bottom off and put the uh little thing this is uh and I, fig I figured it'll go about right here that way we have a little bit left for have a little bit of this left that way it could go to the uh on the ground we'll put like some kind of stopper i might put the old one back on it 
Uh, we'll just see, but uh, this is the progress so far. We use the same size drill bit as what the bolts came out of it the first time. So one of the problems I had with the uh, version 2 cart was really this didn't stick out enough to really support the bag as well. So I think with this one what we're going to do is we're going to try to do something kind of like that's on the bottom here. Where it, I bend one to make it go out longer. That way the bag has somewhere stable to be on all four corners of the bag. Right, so we got all the holes for the uh, for the little T-brackets. Now I've got to bend these ends inward so it kind of makes uh, this shape like I did on the last one. Uh, I've already got the uh, the wire bent. It's going to go about about like right there. I uh, might have to move uh, might have to move this one up just a little bit but I'll wait until I get the wire on and I've got the other one so it's gonna go it's gonna go uh, all the way up so to be able to carry any size bag really so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go bend three of these and I'll put it on and then I'll show you how it looks after I get them on so I uh, just got the bottom on uh, Pretty sturdy. I'm going to have to probably leave this where it is because it is touching up here but not back there. So I figured it will be fine. Now one thing I want to point out is on these brackets, you want to make sure that you don't bend these too far in. That way they will actually kind of kind of grip the wire a little bit. And there's a little bit of an indention right there. You want to make sure you bend these where this indention is going to be up. The way your bolts will fit in a little bit snugger, and that way they won't stick up as far. So, just got the wire uh, wiring backing on. Uh, I do have a few things. I'm going to try to put a uh, some kind of metal thing I bought. It'll. Uh, I'm going to try to make it to where I can put my umbrella down in here and uh, everything. And I also got this little basket I picked up for 50 cents. I'm going to try to put it somewhere on the cart. But that's going to be for uh, part two uh, whenever I test the cart. So as you can see, I got version two right here, and this is version three. Now, the wiring on this, you know, the bag set here, and I had this for whatever, like a, like a, uh, an ice chest or a camera bag or another bag or whatever, you know. But this one, it's all one big thing so it'll be able to hold a pretty good sized bag it'll hold you know a big bag or a small bag or whatever and uh to keep it from falling off you know i should be able to put the straps through here or i could just bungee cord it together you know uh i've got to make some kind of uh, bracket up here to hold my camera when i'm out filming and uh i'm just gonna do a few things to it you know uh make it my own but uh you know let's uh that's for part two. So, uh, in part two, I'll uh, do. I'll show you all the things I did to it and everything, and uh, hopefully uh, get it going and go test it for y'all on some of the roughest courses that there is around here. Take it down some stairs, take it up and down hills, over rocks, just like I did in my last one. It's just this poor boy reminding you: play the sport and grow the sport. That is disc golf. Thanks for watching.